All right, I just want to uh, run a, a short grab of uh, the former Prime Minister Tony Abbott, uh, who was on Sky this morning and was talking about the need for the government to sharpen its message. It's good that we're no longer talking about innovation and agility because that, frankly, loses people. Uh, we've got to talk about the issues that they understand and we've got to put it in terms of their interests and how we are going to advance their interests. Is it good to no longer talk about innovation? Is that something that the, the public can't keep up with? Well, I, I think that innovation and agility is a very important uh, part of our uh, economic uh, plan. I mean, obviously, you know, for an open trading economy like Australia, it's critically important that we're innovative and uh, agile and always able uh, to be as competitive as we possibly can be, uh, you know, internationally. Now, uh, it is only one part of an overall plan. Uh, obviously, our focus on making our tax system more growth friendly is an important part of that plan. Our focus on our ambitious infrastructure investment program, our focus on our ambitious uh, export uh, trade deal agenda. I mean, there's a whole range of uh, uh, components to our plan to make the economy stronger, but uh, innovation and uh, being agile uh, continues to be a very important part of that. And just finally, uh, with the death of uh, Fidel Castro, how do you see him? A revolutionary? A tyrant? How did you see him? Well, I mean, he's obviously a significant figure, uh, a historical figure of the 20th century, but he's also a very he was a very controversial uh, figure and the policies and the actions that he pursued in our judgment uh, were not in the best uh, interest of the uh, you know, Cuban people. Certainly his hostility to uh, the West, in particular the United States, uh, you know, we believe imposed significant hardship on the uh, Cuban people. Matthias Corman, thank you for your time this morning. Always good to talk to you.